What's going on guys, Garrett here, and in this video, I'm going to go ahead and breaking down the brand new Heist DLC trailer that Rockstar has recently released. Now this trailer does include some fascinating things that you may have missed because the trailer is so short and is jam-packed with everything and anything you've ever wanted to see in a trailer. Now with that said, if you do enjoy this breakdown or are excited for GTA 5 Heist DLC, make sure you guys drop this video a like. Let's go for a thousand likes and with all that said, let's jump right into the trailer and check out the screenshots that I've really pinpointed for you to see some very important things. The first one being this awesome yacht. Now, as you guys know, the yacht is something that's been in GTA 5 single player for quite a while. It's actually used in one of the missions where you have to go and save your daughter with Michael's daughter Tracy from being in a porno, I believe. Overall, I want this yacht in GTA 5 Online. I want to have it as a house. Now, whether or not we'll be able to have this as a house or use this yacht at all, besides the heist mission, I am not sure just yet. But as you guys can see, there will be some kind of heist prep or heist taking place on this yacht where you got to just raid it and get up all up in there. Next screenshot that I have wanted, that I wanted to pinpoint to you guys, is this very cool, I guess, screenshot of Lester showcasing a... The, the jobs, the jobs that are coming with Heist DLC. And this one is specifically, I believe, the Fleeka job. And it just showcases a few things. And as you guys can see, it says observe security at the Fleeka Bank uh, on the Western Highway. And you have key jobs you need to do in order to make sure you do successfully do this heist mission. So very, very interesting to see that. Next up, we're going to go ahead and take a look at one of the most anticipated vehicles in GT Online, which is the Hunter. Now, the Hunter is a brand new helicopter that we have known for quite a while because Rockstar has hinted towards this vehicle for quite some time. I mean, there's there's little video clips of it, snippets in the game showcasing this beautiful helicopter. And to see that we're finally get it really, really makes me happy. Now, as you guys can see in this picture, we also have a very cool military, militarized vehicle on the right side of the screen. Now, this is some kind of APC Humvee with some kind of machine gun on top. And overall, it's gonna it, it's something I want to have in my garage. So hopefully, we can take this or call Meriwether for it or call Pegasus or something because that is a very, very nice looking vehicle next up we're gonna go ahead and take a look at brand new masks that will be coming with this heist dlc as you guys know the heist dlc is a perfect time for rockstar to incorporate or introduce brand new masks and different clothing items as i know there's a bunch of different clothing items and options we'll be receiving in regards to masks tattoos and different just regular clothing that you would normally not be able to get in GTA Online that wasn't single player. Maybe even like the Bug Star outfit. So very, very cool overall. Next up, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the brand new drill that will be used to open up safety deposits in the Heist DLC. Now, whether or not you can use this drill outside of the Heist, I don't believe you will be able to. But overall, I do look forward to seeing this being used in the Heist DLC. Next up, we're going to take a look at the brand new sports car that has been sort of leaked by leakers in the community and this is a sports car now overall this sports car does not have a name just yet but forums and people in youtube comments and on my twitter have been saying that this might be the evo now whether or not this checks out to be an evo i am not sure but i do know this is a sports car and one thing you will notice about this car that it is blacked out it's completely blacked out black rims matte black paint a black spoiler and one thing you will also notice in this next screenshot thanks to the cargo bob is that it actually has the duke of death front uh, i guess windshield guard where this is something that no other car in gta 5 online has seen yet not even the duke has it so in single player the duke of death if you have not seen it has this windshield guard of metal and that prevents bullets from coming through the windshield well this sports car has that functionality now this raises the question whether or not we'll be seeing this Duke of Death or this, I want to call it the Windshield Guard, coming to Los Santos Customs where you can add it to any car of your choosing. In addition to that, we also see the Cargo Bob has a new upgraded feature. It has a huge yellow magnet now. I don't know if you guys missed that, but that's pretty cool in my opinion. Never thought I would see the day where the Cargo Bob has a huge magnet on it instead of that stupid little hook that would hook onto nothing and it would just take your car somewhere. So I'm glad to see a huge magnet is being incorporated into the Cargo Bob. Next picture we're going to take a look at is, of course, you in your apartment checking out what the heist will look like once you are ready to start with your crew. As you guys can see, this is the breakdown you will receive and it just breaks down each key mission or part of the heist you need to complete before moving on so as you guys can see the first one is the vagos contraband smugglers something to do with a the plane then you got to go ahead and stop the prison bus 
and then something, I believe, with a police station. So you have to pose as cops, and that's all a part of the prison heist. So this is all one heist right there. There's, I believe, four or five parts with each heist. So very interesting to see that they went ahead and showed us that very interesting picture. Next up, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what it looks like to be a cop in GTA 5 Online. Now, as you guys saw, on that board, it said that you need to pose as a cop, and that is exactly what is going on in this picture right here. We are posing as police officers so that we can go into the police station and steal some very needed information. Now, the next screenshot you will see is one that, that I barely saw. It caught me off guard. I noticed it right when he was walking by, but as you guys can see, I have something on my ear. Well, this character has something on his ear, and it seems to be an earpiece so I can communicate with my teammates communicate with Lester, whoever the case may be. Now, if we can have that in GTA 5 Online in terms of just customizing your character at the clothing store, that would be very interesting to see, but I'm not exactly sure what that earpiece will be used for exactly. As I know what it's used for in real life, but in game, I'm not sure just yet. Now, one thing you will notice when you head on over to your apartment is there are some things that have changed. Now, you do have a huge planning board, but in addition to this, you also have a dart board in your high-end apartment. Now, when I saw this, it brought some excitement to my face. I was like, what the heck? You can now play mini games in your apartment. So, hopefully, Rockstar is working towards adding more mini game features to our apartments like darts, maybe even billiards or pool card games stuff like that where we can just go to our apartments and enjoy ourselves by playing little mini games and stuff of that nature so as you guys can see darts will be coming to our apartments especially if you own a high-end apartment moving on to the next i guess screenshot or part of this breakdown trailer would have to be me showcasing the new militarized apcs or humvees with a heavy machine gun on top that you can use to take down helicopters planes and much more now this very interesting photo showcases the beauty and death that can be caused due to a very heavy machine gun on top of your vehicle and a pretty i guess armored vehicle in addition to your arsenal so overall i'm pretty excited to see that rockstar is doing some very cool features here in re in regards to adding more vehicles to the game especially ones with huge guns and i guess different things added to it next up we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what this vehicle looks like in the front and as you guys can see in the left side that's what it sort of looks like. It's more. It's, I would say it's like a Humvee overall. Like people are calling it an APC. Yeah, no, I think it's just like a Humvee with you know a turret gun on top. So that's pretty cool. Next up, we're gonna go and take a look at what it looks like to see an aircraft carrier in GTA 5 Online. Now, when I first saw this, I was a little blown away because I had no idea what was going on. But then I realized this is probably part of a heist where you need to steal something, something very important, maybe even a jetpack. We don't know. That's probably not true. But it, overall, it looks pretty cool. I think that an aircraft carrier in the sea will look pretty amazing. And as you guys can see in this picture, it does look very nice. And we're getting there by dinghy. Now, this dinghy or little boat has been in GTA 5 Online. Hey, no, excuse me. Has been in GTA 5 single player for quite a while. It's been in, uh, since the release, I believe. And not really in GTA Online that I've seen. So as you guys can see, very, very nice look at you approaching the aircraft carrier and once you get there you will notice some things are different especially the fact that there is the brand new hydra now if you guys have no idea what the hydra is it's a it's a beautiful 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 plane that can take off vertically that's right guys you don't need to use a runway you can just switch it on to vertical takeoff and you just hover and boom you go that's about it so this this vehicle has hovering capabilities. That's right. You heard that correctly. This is the first vehicle in GTA 5 Online to have hovering capabilities, which leads me to believe that someday we might be getting a jetpack. Just saying. Just staying hopeful, okay? Just want to keep the head, you know, just stay hopeful. We're finally getting heist. Maybe we'll finally get a jetpack as well. But I don't want to ask too much of Rockstar. Moving on to the next screenshot, we have the board that showcases how much heist will be rewarding us so this is the take of one of the heists now i'm not sure exactly which heist this is i if i were to guess i would probably guess wrong but the reward for this heist is six hundred and seventy thousand dollars now if you guys want to see a full breakdown of how the reward system works and how much you'll be getting for each heist i did a video on that earlier today there'll be a link down in the uh, I'm not going to say in the description because I'll probably forget. But just go to my channel, YouTube.com, slash Jobless Gamers, and there'll be a video there. It's called Heist Payout. Go check it out. And that is what it looks like. So this is one of the five heists that will have a high payout. So pretty freaking awesome. Next up, we have a picture of what it seems to be Night Vision coming to GTA 5 Online. Now, Night Vision has been something that has been 
you know, wanted in GTA 5 Online, but never really added. I believe it was in single player, if I recall correctly. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. But I do know that if we can use this in online, this would add so many cool features during the nighttime, especially because I hate playing during the night. Hopefully, night vision will change my attitude towards that. So as you guys just saw, I just finished shooting a flare off in the sky. Now this is a brand new weapon or accessory that will be coming to GTA 5 Online thanks to the Heist DLC that allows you to shoot flares in the sky. Now the flare gun has been something that we've all known was coming eventually thanks to leaked code and we finally have confirmation that the flare gun will be coming in the Heist DLC. Now as you guys can see in this video, the flare gun is used to go ahead and signal for a helicopter to come by. So, I'm not sure how that would work in GTA 5 Online and what purpose it would have, but hopefully it does have a solid purpose. Next up, we do have another look at how much a heist payout will be rewarding us with. This time, we're taking a look at the prison heist. The prison heist will be rewarding us $550,000, so that's pretty cool to see. Next up, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the... That's it. That's, that's all of them. That is the end, actually. So that was all the breakdowns. If I missed anything, be sure to let me know in the comment section what I missed, and I'll be sure to comment back and say thanks or something. So overall, let me know what you guys think about the Heist DLC and all the information that has come out today. Hopefully, you guys do look forward to it. If you guys do, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links can be found down below or at the top of this video. As I do upload daily GTA 5 and GTA Online content, keeping you guys up to date with everything going on in GTA 5, GTA Online, and in my personal life. And I'll see you guys later on today with another video. Later, guys.